don't worry, there are no spoilers in this review because I don't think I understood this movie enough to spoil it even if I wanted to. That darn movie show. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Clarice here. Uh, now I've seen Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. I feel like everyone else has seen Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and I feel like maybe everyone's sick of talking about Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. But I also did promise myself that I would review every film I see in the cinema, so fuck it, let's talk about Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Definitely I was not in the best position to enjoy this movie. Zack Snyder's brain exists in a universe of which I have no understanding. Like, I have to commend this guy because his sense of imagery is always so ambitious and so bombastic and it doesn't feel like someone who's just churning out movies for the big bucks. It feels like he's really trying to create something. Except the problem is, it's like there's no glue in between his individual thoughts. He has such sense of detail, but I feel like he never just steps takes a step back, looks at what he's done, and thinks, right, what am I actually trying to say here? Like, what is my aim with this movie? With Batman v Superman, Zack Snyder is just winging it. He's just winging it. I mean, the central conflict of this film is birthed from the things that were bad about the previous film, which is slightly insane. With Man of Steel, like, he tried to do the whole Superman is Jesus thing, but because Zack Snyder loves to be gritty and dark, he made Superman fucking kill a bunch of people. And audiences, a lot of them didn't really like that, so now this film is a bunch of characters saying, Hey, it's maybe not, not so cool that Superman keeps killing people. And then Batman pops up as his complete opposite, except he's not. He's a terrifying vigilante that no one can control, that hates Superman because he's a terrifying vigilante that no one can control. Which maybe would not be so much of an issue except for the fact that Lex Luthor just keeps going on about how they're the antithesis of each other. God versus man, day versus night! But like, how can Superman be day if the entire reason the conflict started in this film is because he didn't turn out to be the miraculous saviour we all wanted him to? And then Fida tries to throw in these, like, allusions to real-world immigration debates, except immigration debates aren't about super-powerful refugees and their laser eyes causing collateral damage. It's just thematically really confusing, and I'm sure it can all be justified, but that would take a paragraph, and it shouldn't take a paragraph, because Batman and Superman, like, in pop culture, are kind of the antithesis of each other. You have Superman, who's always been about morality and truth and justice and openness, and then Batman is all about the vigilante justice and the secrecy and the danger and the fear and revenge. This film should have been so simple to make, and yet by muddying the ground like that, it just turns Batman v Superman into this like messy, confusing bore of a film. But that said, I actually didn't hate this film as much as I was sort of expecting to, and that is for two very defined reasons. I am down with the bat flag, and Wonder Woman was boss for the three minutes she was allowed to be Wonder Woman and not some woman staring at things from a distance and then checking her email. I actually spent so much of this film just being excited for the Wonder Woman movie and the solo bat flag film, and I do realise this Batman is sort of drifting towards anti-hero territory, which is sort of a departure for his character, but the Batman universe has the most iconic villains, and I do always kind of worry that the actual character of Batman gets lost within all that, so I think it would be quite cool to see a Batman whose internal darkness can really match up to the light of the Joker. And especially if Ben Affleck does actually direct this film, he's a really smart director and he's fantastic in this. He's the sexiest Batman, he's very cool, and he really nails hard some actually quite god-awful lines in this film. So overall, yeah, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice was a little bit of a chore for me, but I, I'm excited for the Wonder Woman movie and for 
the Batman solo movie, so maybe it wasn't all that bad. But if you guys have had a chance to see Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, I would love to know what you thought. You can let me know down in the comments below. Try and keep it spoiler free, or if not, just put a big old spoiler alert. Or you can hit me up on Twitter, details down in the description box. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to hang out and talk about movies. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!